Hi Virgo, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to give you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of May the 25th to June the 1st. Again, I'm still battling this cold, but I will forge forward and get these videos out to you loyal fans of mine. <laughs> Just being funny. I do appreciate every day getting up and acknowledging all the subscribers that I see that on my email and I feel truly blessed to have that opportunity. We start your week with Monday and the Five of Fire card. And the Five of car Fire card tells me that some of you are dealing with issues probably in your life that are a bit bothersome, in, in your life, in your job rather, that are a bit bothersome. And um, there are details um, that you're not really liking right now. There, it, it, it's, it's, it has to do with competing goals with you and perhaps with others around you. And they're saying it's a caution card. Just be careful because it can, can often cause conflicts with others. On Tuesday, you've been given a major card. And the major card that you've been given is a strength card. And it's telling me that some of you don't realize that you're as strong as you really are within yourself. And you need to know that. And you need to, to understand that you can handle the situation with kindness, compassion, gentleness, and patience. Whatever that situation coming into your life right now is, you need to handle it that way way okay and often this situation is coming in will have to do with forgiveness so remember the word compassion and forgiveness all right um, it's better to deal with this situation with honey than it is with vinegar on Wednesday you've been given another fire card and this is the six of fire card and this is a great card this is saying a victory is happening to you and good news is on the way for some of you um so good that some of you are actually getting public recognition for something that you've been doing and some of you perhaps are even getting an award for this on Thursday, you've been given a water card, and this water card is the Seven of Water, and it speaks of a complex decision. Pardon me, something is, my guides must be fooling around with me because my camera decided to move around. The Seven of Water speaks of a complex decision in some of your lives, and the need to do some, you need to do some research if you're going to make this complex decision and you need to stop procrastinating about it if you do your research it'll come out in your favor on Friday you've been given another major card you've had two in this reading this week excuse me and this particular card is the renewal card and it's telling me that some of you some of you I don't know why my camera is acting up today It'll focus again. Crazy. Some of you are at the end of a project or crossroads in your life right now. And you need to review and evaluate things going on around you at this time. And it's time. It's also a card that speaks of time to move in a new direction. Now, you're on the threshold, threshold of making an important change. And it could have to do with legal issues in your life right now. Um, but know that they're going to be resolved favorably for you. And for others, you may be taking exams and doing exams. Know that things are going to work out in your favor there. Your exams are going to go well for you. Um, you may be making a landmark decision right now, some of you in your life, and it will have to do with your career and or your job. And it will be a change for you. Some of you are moving in a new direction, a different direction, but know that it is a new beginning. On Saturday, you have been given a water card, and you've been given the four of water. And it tells me that some of you feel that you've been missing an opportunity right now to the point of discontentment and boredom. Now, the water cards, as I say, are are my special favorite uh, cards because it is a romance part of our life and relationships part of our life and it has to do with living and caring for ourselves and and others that we care for um, it, uh, it it speaks of you um, possibly moving on and you need to open your eyes to any new opportunities coming into you at this point if you're that bored 
and you feel that discontent, this is definitely a good card for you to realize you do need to move on. If you feel you're missing out on an opportunity, let that new opportunity come into you and accept it. On Sunday, you've been given an air card, and this particular air card is the Six of Air. And some of you may have been dealing with legal issues or issues, yeah, communication issues, issues that have been bothering you right now. But you need to know this card speaks of things looking up for you right now. And know that it's starting now to become the end of a difficult situation that some of you have been dealing with. Okay, This card refers to the legal system. This card refers to communication and analyzing and making important decisions and the intellectual areas in our life that cause a little bit of stress and worry and concern. Things are getting better, my friend. Things are looking up. Some of you, this this card refers to taking a trip. And know that this trip is either going to be over water or you will be traveling in a vehicle, a boat of such, on the water when you take this trip. At the end of the week, I did pull that one-time oracle card again because everybody seems to enjoy that so much. And it does add some inspiration to your week. And I enjoy doing this for you. And that card is Let Go of Your Past, my friend. And basically, you know, you can't drag your past into your present because some of the residual is going to go right into your future. And it can't serve you any purpose. So I will read you this card. The burden of carrying your past around has made you weary and it will it drags you down dear one it's time to set your burdens down keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind you don't want it or need it and it's now gone let it go don't drag your past into your present it can't serve you you can't change it it happened it's gone it's history I hope this reading brought you some benefit to your week and some interest into your week. And I thank you again for tuning in to my channel. <coughs> Excuse me. There's that cold. I do have a website if you should want a private reading with me. And my website is www.brenda, tarot spelled T-A-R-O dot info. Hope to see you soon. Would love to do a private reading for you. I leave you again with a quote. And the quote I chose today is, Sometimes people around you won't understand your journey. They don't need to. It's not for them. I hope you have a great remainder to your day today and you have a wonderful optimistic week ahead of you. I want you to know I continue to stand in the circle of light for you.